This time of year, we hear so many inspiring stories of players who've overcome the odds to find success on the field. At 13 years old, our next guest has faced big obstacles in football. That's because she's a girl in a male-dominated sport. But she says she won't let anything on or off the field stop her from playing the game she loves. Say hello to Ariel, y'all. How did you get into football? Do you have brothers? Were you playing with it? Like yeah, how? yeah, well, um, when I used to watch my brother play, I got really attached to the sport. Like I, I knew that sport was right for me because I was always used to that physical activity. Yeah. And I saw him playing. I went to my mom and I was like, why didn't you put me in there? Like, I want to be in there. She agreed to put me in there, and I was really happy, but it was kind of hard being the only girl. Yeah. <laughs> Dante needs a timeout. Dante time. needs a timeout. <laughs> Dante's had a rough game, eh, buddy? <laughs> oh. So, but you, you felt it was kind of rough because you were the only girl. Yeah. So what, what response do you get from, like, the boys on the team or other teams? They always said that I was, like, short, I was a girl. I wasn't like intimidating for the other teams. And I wanted to prove them wrong and I wanted to show the coach that I could make a good part of the team. Yeah. And so during a couple of practices, we did some tackling drills. Yeah. I tackled them. They they respected me. They said, okay, she knows how you to play. You show them what's up on that field. Yeah. 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 Like, you were like, yeah. that was, I mean, and I would have walked right past and be like, and that was from a girl. Oh, You're welcome. I yeah. yeah. I would have rubbed it in. Like, uh -huh. that's crazy. I mean, how impressive it is it? Y'all, the little girls just out there. What, what? If I could do that to my older brother. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you, so you play, you like defense more than offense. Yeah. Right? So you like hitting people. Yeah, defense. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You See, I wasn't tough enough to play defense. And now it sounds like a woman's sport. <laughs> <laughs> Getting angry. Um, okay, so Ariel's mom, Jackie, is with us today. I mean, how proud are you? Oh, I'm how really... proud slash scared are you sometimes? <laughs> I was scared, but, you know, because her being so small and for her age, and she's a girl, I got a lot of bad feedback, but, yeah. you know, I was like, I'm not even worried about her. I'm more worried about the boys that she's going to be tackling. <laughs> because, you know? Do you want to know? Yeah. This is real. Like, my mother used to say the same thing about me when I played soccer when I was a kid, because I... I think I just enjoyed plowing into people. Yeah. That, yeah. And she would be like, you know what? I just want to hit. And I'm like, go out there. All your anger, take it out there. Yeah. And focus it on something productive like yeah. this sport. That's amazing. Good job, yeah. Mom. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Raising a woman. Do you think, because I played sports growing up, and I feel like it helped kind of mold my character and like being able to be a part of a team. Do you feel like that? Like uh, sports has done that for you? I was just about to say that. This is the beauty of sports yeah. where there's no such thing as race, color, age, gender, nothing. It's, yeah. it's about going out there and having a good time, coming together. And that is what I love. That, in Me fact, too. I don't miss the physical part of football, <laughs> uh, yeah. like getting hit and yeah. all that stuff. What I do miss is being in that locker room and hanging around. Don't you yeah. love just hanging out with your friends? Yeah. I bet some of your best friends are now on the team, right? Yeah. Yeah, so that's, that, so that's so what cool. it's all about is saying, I hey. love it. I think that's what helped me become like a team member instead yeah. of like, because the people are just trying to be a leader. And I'm like, you can't be a great leader unless you can follow and unless you can actually be a part of a team. And I think that sports definitely teaches kids that. Absolutely. Yeah. So wait, Ariel, how long do you plan on playing football? Is it just like a thing you love to do as a hobby or like a forever thing? I plan on going pro. Get I, it. Like, I plan on going to high school. Yeah. And then I plan on doing more. Like... I, I want to be a coach for an wow. NFL team. And I also want to join the Women's Football League. That's amazing. I am so into watching that. I'm yeah. like, I would be a sportscaster for that. Yeah. I'd learn about the sport for that. <laughs> there is a female coach in the NFL right now, too. That is so cool. Yep. yep. How cool is that? Ladies. Yep. So well, do it. we have we have a little surprise for you, Ariel. Um, we have a woman here who is exactly where Ariel wants to be. She recently made headlines for being the first athlete to sign a multi-million dollar contract with the new Women's Football League Association. So would you like to meet her maybe or? <laughs> <laughs> She's known as the queen of abs like myself. <laughs> to her 400,000 social media followers, please welcome Santia Duck, y'all! <laughs> Nice 
Oh my god, she's crying! Oh my god! Everybody cry out this here. Is like <laughs> real joy and excitement. I mean, Santia, meet Tony and Anna first. I'm so yeah. sorry they're hey, here as well. Hey, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> um, and your future football pro hall of famer here. This is Ariel as well. And that's Dante. We'll talk okay. about it later. <laughs> Dante. Um, <laughs> so what's it like to be in a sport dominated by males? It can be challenging. Um, I've had a lot of like amazing feedback, positive feedback, but of course, you know, I have the people, the, the some of the men that are just like, why are you trying to play this, this sport? You're a girl. Are you trying to be a man? And I'm just like, no. I never like said. The game. Exactly. I just said, I, I never said I want to be a man. I never want to play with men. Look at me. I'm 5'1", like 130 pounds. So I know I would literally die if I got hit by a guy. No, me too. But... I'm 132. <laughs> yeah. So hard holding it down. <laughs> right. Yeah. But I, I just want to, you know, I want women to, to know that we have a platform too. We can play this sport just like the men. Yeah. Be compensated just like the men. And go out here and chase our dreams. And you're saying... Yeah. And you're saying, as far as football, you like being a part of the women's league. It's not like you want to play against men. You want women to have their own league. Exactly. That's different. That's exactly. why I think men always think, like, we're well, going to get, you know, beat up. And I'm like, ain't nobody stupid here. We right. Just, we, <laughs> I mean, there is soccer for women and men. Like, there's, you know, there WBA. should be football for yes. men and women. Yeah. Exactly. So how did it feel like signing that million, like, multi-million dollar contract? Um, what did you I, buy? Did you buy something crazy? I bet it felt like, good. It felt amazing, yeah. You're like, you know what? It was kind of a depressing day. Um, I was that literally was a dumb sad. question. I was in my bed crying. No, <laughs> no but um, it was, it was surreal. Um, yeah. You know, honestly, the whole time I was like, yo, this is opening up doors for women in all sports. Exactly. Like, I can really kind of help pioneer this whole thing yeah. and show women, like, it's our time. You show this little woman. So this little baby yeah. that yeah. we can we can do this. This is our sport too. This yeah. is our sport. And so. she knows you. She was crying her face yeah. off. So you know that this dream has probably had a lot to do with you, like inspiring her. And that's ah, oh, it's so cool. How cool is it, honestly? And oh women playing this sport. It's yeah. incredible. It's yeah. incredible. It's. It, I can't. I couldn't imagine like when I was ten watching something like this. Yeah. And it's. It's honestly been, a, like I said, I, I, get, I hear like older women like, man, I wish, you know, back in my day, I could have got out there and did something like that. So just being able to like... Just 43. Okay. <laughs> you still got a shot, I'm I still got oh, it. Oh, it's fine. No, no. <laughs> my wounds. <laughs> She's kidding. <laughs> I am with you, though. Whenever I'm from the South to a small town in the South, and football is everything in Texas, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, if you don't like it, you're banned from being in the state. Yes. And, um, and it, it is true. Like, the only place on the field for a girl was to be a cheerleader. You yeah. know, you couldn't play the sport. So exactly. It, it, you truly are a pioneer. It's a really, really just refreshing, Thank cool, you. and inspiring thing that you're doing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> So, Santia, what advice do you have for Ariel to succeed? Because it's a, you're, you're not joking with it. You're going to keep it real. It's not easy, right? Nope. It's not easy at all. So what I would tell you, um, it, you know, and I'll tell anybody, but especially you, whatever you want to do in this life, go get it. I was told no so many times. Mm. I was told that I'm crazy, that, again, are you trying to be a man? You know, I was told that, oh, you should just stay in a woman's place. You know, play the run track, do the little, you know, things or whatever. They're like, you shouldn't be out here. But I was like, no. I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna keep doing what I wanna do. I'm gonna chase this dream. I wanna be able to show little girls like you that, hey, I have somebody that has done what I wanna do, so it's mm. possible. It's attainable, it's real. Yeah! I need you in my, my life. Gosh. <laughs> I, I know, I'm like, like, can you write a book? <laughs> I would read it. Oh my God. And you're like super hot, it's so annoying. Uh, I mean, I mean, God, it's a blessing. Um, <laughs> Bless. Um, one of my favorite things on this show is teaming up remarkable women with unstoppable young girls they can mentor. And it's something we call a whole lot of women. So, Cynthia, you have a surprise for Ariel in that spirit, right? I do. So, I would love to mentor you. I would love to help you along your football journey and whatever questions you have, whatever concerns, you can call me, text me, whatever you want to do, I'm here. 
ends, I would love to invite you to one of our games. You and your mom. You're so very inspiring. Does that sound awesome or what? Yeah. This was kind of, like spectacular. I can't even speak right right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even like, I don't even know a lot about sports ball and I want to go. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it sounds amazing. Like. I will not stop talking until you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right, and I can talk a lot. Seriously, not gonna stop. Yep, still here, not going anywhere. I see you. Don't walk away from this.